Okay, so we have this small helium balloon that is released to the air, so it's moving upwards. And it says that initially is accelerating upwards. So what does accelerating upwards mean? It means that the resultant force is a non-zero value and it's upwards, right? So what values, what forces do we have? We have the up thrust, which is upwards. Minus weight, meaning that weight is on the opposite direction, but we know that it's always downwards. And viscous drag. Viscous drag is always opposite the motion. So since this balloon is moving upwards, this viscous drag is also downwards. And then it says that eventually the balloon reaches a constant upward speed. So constant speed means that the resultant force is equal to zero. That means those forces here are balanced. So and it gives, it's giving us these informations, uh, this information so we can find uh, the drag force, the viscous drag force. So um, I'm going to start by saying that since it's moving at a constant speed, as we just mentioned, the resultant force will be, will be zero. So resultant force is zero. So therefore, what is the relation of the three forces there? We have the up thrust to be equal to weight plus viscous drag. So the question is asking us to find the viscous drag. So I'm rearranging these into the viscous drag. So I'm moving weight to the other side. becomes U minus W. All right. Now let's find, uh, let's break down, let's say, up thrust and weight. So up thrust. We know from Archimedes uh, principle, we know that up thrust is equal to the weight of the displaced air. So up thrust will be equal to the weight of the displaced air. And we know that weight is mass times gravitational field strength. So mass of the air times G, right? So, and from the formula of density, where density is mass over volume, I will rearrange this in terms of mass. So mass is density times volume, right? Since we're talking about air, the mass of air is equal to the density of air times the volume of the air. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because I'm not given um, the mass of the air that is displaced. I'm giving, I'm giving the mass of the helium which is inside the balloon, but this is different to what I want, right? I want the air that is displaced by this balloon. So the air that will be displaced will be the same volume as the volume of the balloon. So that's why I'm substituting the mass of the air to using the density equation. And we, it, it says that the balloon is considered to be a sphere of radius of 12. So I can use that information to find the volume of the balloon. All right, so I'm giving the density. So I have the density already. So I need to find the volume of the balloon, which is a sphere. Therefore, this will be So density of air times, and we're using the formula to calculate the volume of a sphere, 4 over 3 pi r cube. We're given the radius as well. So we came up with, with, this, um, with this equation for the mass of the, of, the, um, of the air. So if I put that mass over here, to go back to the up thrust equation, then I'm gonna end up having that up thrust equals density of air times the volume of the balloon times G. So I found an expression for up thrust. So I'm gonna do something similar for, so I found an expression for that. I'm gonna find an expression for weight. Now, that weight is the weight of the balloon, and the weight of the balloon is the mass of the balloon and the mass of the helium as it's given there. So, the weight will be the mass of the balloon 
plus the mass of the helium times g. We know that weight equals mass times gravitational field strength. Okay, so I'm going to use this expression here for upthrust and this expression here for weight. All right, so I'm combining all this together. So drag equals upthrust, which is d times 4 over 3 pi r cube times g. That's my upthrust minus mass of balloon plus mass of helium times g. And I have, I'm given all these, all these numbers over here. So density of air is given there. Pi, we know it's 3.14. Then radius is 12 centimeters, but I need to convert this into meters. So that will be 0 0.12. Then we know G is a fixed number, 9.81. We know that. The mass of the balloon and the mass of the helium are given over here. Again, they're in grams, so I have to convert them into kilograms by dividing by 1000. And then G again is 9.81. So if I put all these numbers in, starting from the density, so you see the density is given in kilograms per meters cubed. So I have to convert these into kilograms and these into meters. So I have consistent units. So that will be 1.2 times 4 over 3 pi. And then it's the radius is 0 0.12 in the power of 3 multiplied times 9.81. So that will be my my upthrust minus um we have four grams plus 1.2 grams 1.2 divided 1000 to convert it to kilograms times 9.81 so if you do all these calculations carefully with your calculator you're gonna get to an answer of 0.034 newtons and that will be the viscous drug.